Good afternoon all. It is Justin for Basic Integrating. I hope we are, we are all doing very, very well. I myself am doing fantastic. But in today's video, we're going to have a rant. Now, as everyone knows me, I don't often have a, um, a rant as such. But um, I know what people are going to say. This is a free product. Why rant about it? If, still, if it's free, anyway, I won't get there yet. But um, I'll talk to you about the product first. And then um, we'll go from there. Okay. Now, there was an advert on Facebook, um, one of the many groups I'm part of to do with modelling in this hobby of ours. And it was with this magazine, Miniature War Games, right? Absolutely fantastic magazine. Cannot fault this at all. Okay. It has no end of good stuff in it okay so it's just everything and anything to do with our hobby okay so it's not the magazine the magazine was fantastic it was the free stuff you got on with the magazine and that was the wild west exodus sprue okay as you can see on the top here okay it says what free wild west exodus sprue canine gun dogs a sprue worth 17 pound Exclusive scenario, interview, painting, going blah blah blah. But it was the actual sprue that you got free. Okay, so I thought, okay, then I'll have that. Went into my local Smiths, where you can get it from here in England, and it was um, four pound fifty, which is about six, maybe six and a half dollars. And the sprue you got was worth seventeen pound. I don't think it was. Anyway, I wouldn't spend seventeen pound of my hard-earned money on this two on these two pieces of crap. Okay, um, the Wild West Extra stuff is really really good. Don't fault me on that; it is really good. But this free gift you got was a load of shite. It really was. Now, like I said, the magazine fantastic. Really cannot. Oh, we'll be buying this again. Okay, that is one hundred percent certain. Okay, so it's not that. Um, it was the actual sprue, and we'll just go through. I'll just flick through to the assembly guide. Okay, not the best assembly guide, as you can probably see. That's the assembly guide. Okay, so not the best. So I followed it anyway, and um, the two gun dogs you get. I'll just move a little pot of water over there is the bases are really nice bases okay but the actual models were a little shy really well i'll just bring them across i haven't glued them to the base yet but these are the bases you get okay rather large bases really really nice it's got that little lip as well there which i like so when you're actually put doing your base itself say for example grass or stones or whatever it's not going to go over that edge okay when you put your glue on everything so really nice bases okay wasn't that i followed the, ins the assembly instructions and built them and um exactly to what it's stated on there and the bay half of through number seven you can put um different pieces like different guns on and stuff so yeah so um i did that and the molding and the detail of the actual um, parts is really good, okay. But the way it went together is a load of shit, okay. Now I've I've been building models, and all people are going to say maybe I built it wrong, and that's what they said. I'll get onto that point in a second. So um, this is what you get: an orange lump of mess, okay. I'll just balance that. What I'll do, I'll just balance that on there. So it looks quite, from that angle, it looks quite good, but it's not. Okay? I'll just so you can see the back end of it. That's the gun on top, like a mini Gatling gun type thing. So that's the actual one of them. And. As you can probably see, I'll just 
probably can't see the actual big gap down the center. That's because it didn't fit properly. Now, I followed the instructions to the letter, okay? That's one of my kind of downfalls within this hobby. I will look at the instructions and look at the piece about four or five times, just so I know it's in the right place and it fits. And I always dry fit the pieces properly. Now, I wanted to dry fit this, it nearly went out the bloody window. Um, so I looked at the instructions and thought, that's not sitting right, it's not connecting well. Um, maybe it's just me, so I had another look, another look. So um, when I was actually dry fitting it, it's, um, it was like this sprue was warped. Okay, So what I mean by that is, you've got one sprue there, and another sprue there, or another piece, you put them together, perfect, yeah? It's like you had one sprue, and the other sprue was like that. It wasn't going right. So I carried on, and like I said, the actual design of the piece is really nice. You know, a lot of good intricate details on there, a little metal gun nod, which is okay. So that was the first one. And this is the second one. He's got some sort of flamethrower cannon type thing. Now, you might look at that and think, yeah, it looks okay, that looks quite good. But still, there's a lot of pieces that didn't fit. If I show you the, his belly, sorry, I'll just try and hold that so you can see. And a big old gap there in the middle. Can you see that? Anyway, there's a big old gap there in the middle. Now, it doesn't matter how much glue I put on, it did not want to sit flush. So, by this time, these were about to be snapped. Okay, crushed and then burn. So, I can feel myself getting angry now, just talking about it, because it really does warm me up. Yes, it was a free product. Okay. So, you probably think, okay, then free product maybe shouldn't have, because it's just free. So um, I contacted the company, and I messaged Wild West Exodus, their Facebook um, part of their company, and said how I bought the magazine, and the magazine was great, it was fantastic, um, really appreciated them putting a, um, so that's a Wi-Fi, sorry, really appreciated them, um, just turn the Wi-Fi off. Back again, sorry about that. Right, um, yes, that's what I was saying, I messaged the company, and um, stayed there, bought the magazine, and the magazine, sorry, bitch. The magazine was fantastic, um, really appreciated them um, putting the actual free gift in the magazine. But it's not worth £17, okay? And I stated in this message that um, how I wasn't happy with it, it wasn't going together well, and the plastic felt strange to me and it's not like the normal hard grey plastic and I knew something was up was when I was actually filing down the mould lines I was doing very very carefully with the back end of a scalpel okay so I wasn't taking off too much it was just taking chunks out okay so I contacted them like I said and told them that the moulding it didn't quite fit together, um, wasn't the best um, of their products. And I got a response back. They said, uh, thank you for contacting me, all that sort of rubbish. And um, someone will be in contact with you shortly. So it's like an automated response. And then um, a few hours later, probably seven, eight hours later, I got a response. And um, it was like, um, Thank you for buying our product and uh, all that sort of rubbish. And, they said, and the response was, maybe you didn't um, put it together correctly. Now, that got me rolled up because they don't know me as a modeler. I will go and try and buy 100% best, even more, to get the model perfect, okay? I don't appreciate, yes, it was a free gift, but the pieces don't, didn't fit. 
And I did actually state that, and we had a discussion. And his, this guy, this guy's response, sorry, was, um, "Did you follow the instructions properly?" Yes, I did. And um, maybe you put the wrong pieces on. You can't put the wrong pieces on. It's a bloody dog. Okay, you get two sides, a head and four legs. How thick does this person think I am? So, um, he said, and I quote, it was a recast of a very popular line that we do. Well, if you're going to give a free gift out, okay, to in a magazine to whoever to advertise your products yeah you don't give out a piece of shit okay to say oh yeah look at our new canine gun dogs they're really really great no you don't put out a piece of crap that doesn't fit together properly now to me I won't buy these okay will I paint them up no um, I'll probably just put them in a bin okay because to me, it's a load of crap. It really is. And following the instructions, um, I, not following the instructions, sorry, I then um, messaged him back. And I stated that um, I'd been building models for a numerous amount of years. And yes, I did follow the instructions, as I wasn't complete, a complete and total imbecile, and that your models weren't very good. Will I buy them again? I stated. Probably, but not this crap. And, like I said, his response was, it was a recast of a very popular line. We did it in, in orange plastic. Not the grey. Well, why are you doing the orange? Do it in the grey. You're going to get a better cast off. And if it's like a recast of a product, to me, that states that they've got the, the main sprue. This is a very, very, very popular one here. We'll give it away. But we can't give that away because that's one of the that's the original sprues. We'll do a recast, that'll come out shit, and we'll give it away. It might just be me, it might just have received um a defunct or where the plastic has been sitting for so long and it's just bent a little bit. It could be that, I don't know. But to me, that's a load of shit. Okay, this piece of crap is a load of rubbish. Okay? Um, like I said, it's a bit of a rant. Not very happy with the product. First time I've ever done a rant video. Um, overall, no, I won't buy them. They are a load of crap. Um, but the product themselves, the way they've got them designed, the dogs and the robotic dogs, the idea is brilliant. But to give... Anyone who knows me, right? I've been working in retail for a long, long time. Okay, so I'm trying to calm myself down because this this winds me up. This because of my experience in retail, I've I know about product. Okay, and if you're going to sell a product, you don't. If you go to take about it, if you're going to sell a product and get someone who hasn't bought it before to buy your product, you don't advertise a piece of crap. Okay, an orange lump of mess, and go to build it, and nothing matches up, none of the lines match up, and it just looks awful. You don't do that. What I would have done was actually got one of their actual sprues that they sell properly, not a recast or a remold, and do it that way. Give away one of them. Yes, you're gonna lose a little bit of money, but think of the money you're gonna gain back. That's the whole point. But this has been my rant. This has been um, me not very happy with this disgusting blob of shit. Sorry for the cursed language. Do apologise. Um, but that's my rant over and done with. And follow the instructions, he said. You'll build it correctly. Bits left over. How does that work? So this is my rant. Um, my apologies um, for the rant. Don't forget to like.
comment and subscribe, please. Thank you very much for watching. I've been a very angry uh, basic miniature painter, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.